How to get a boy to like you? I can't help you on that one. <laughs> How do you deal with fake people? Okay. I don't... Hmm. It's a little sad because you think that like they really actually want to be your friends because of you, not because of your occupation or your job. today's girl talk it's gonna be a little different than usual it's gonna be while i'm getting ready because i got invited to another football game so yeah we're gonna talk while getting ready so i'm currently in leggings with my blue socks over the leggings and my green shirt but we're gonna switch up i asked you guys to comment down below on one of my earlier videos about my girl talk questions because i realized that there are some situations where people might be too afraid to ask their parents for advice or anything. So I thought I might try to be the big older sister and try to help you. So we'll see how long well this one goes. I will answer these to the best of my ability. These are not facts, this is my opinion. So take that how you want. Let's get started. Okay, so the first question is, what is it like having brothers? Oh my. <laughs> it's it's very entertaining. It's a lot of fun sometimes because we wrestle sometimes and we just mess around a lot. <laughs> Other times it's annoying because siblings can get pretty annoying sometimes. Okay, question two. Which one do you prefer, the United States or Europe? <sighs> because I live in the USA, the United States, I love traveling other places and I love Europe, but with like politics and everything else, I haven't researched fully into that. So I can't completely choose because there's a lot of interesting things going on with politics. Also for the football game, it's like, um, I think it's the a mental awareness one. So you wear neon green. I don't have neon green, so I'm just gonna wear green. Hence my green bands. Okay, sorry, next question. Do you ever feel like you're being selfish when you miss someone even if they did wrong? Ooh, that's a hard one. It depends on what they did. And I don't, hmm, I don't know. I don't know on that one. That was difficult. If you know, I'll add a comment saying like, if you know, give some advice. Cause I mean, come on, everyone can help here. How do you deal with fake people? Okay. This one is a tough one because sometimes your parents can tell. So you know when your parents are saying like, oh, I don't like that friend too much. Or they'll be like, oh, maybe don't hang out with that other person. I would listen to your parents about that because they are generally right when it comes to fake people and fake friends. That is what I've learned so far. Me and Clay, Shay, all of us, we've had fake friends. We've had people try to, um, they just wanna be friends just to be shouted out and just to get clout and all that. We have had that happen. It's a little sad because you think that like they really actually wanna be your friends because of you, not because of your occupation or your job or your social media standing. I just slowly stop hanging out sometimes or Luckily for me, we have actually moved whenever that happens. Not because of that, but like the timing was kind of like right then. Do you want a big family? Yes. I'm a little partial because I love my big family and because when one person annoys you, you can just go hang out with one or the other five or four. So I love that. And I love how like you can pair up a bedroom so you're not alone and it prepares you for college and moving out because you will be sharing a room and sharing space. And I feel like it really helps in that situation. So yes, I do. How to get a boy to like you. I can't help you on that one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know. I would say be yourself. I know it's cheesy and everyone's like, oh yeah, just be yourself. I mean, you don't want to be fake. You want to be you. You want someone who likes you for you who wants to spend time with you because of you. Because people will generally like the same personality or kind of the same people that like the same things, have similar interests. So be you or else you're not gonna, you're not gonna attract the right person that you want to. Does that make sense? What keeps you happy when you're feeling low? Ooh, we're also gonna start trying to get hair done. So my family helps a lot with that. Like spending time with them because you're gonna spend your whole life with them. Your family's gonna know you the best so they're gonna try and They'll know what will make you happy and generally they will always i don't know how but like your parents will be able to tell most of the time they might just not say anything to give you space just letting you know that they probably do know but they're not going to tell you because they want you to come to them on like on your own terms also do whatever you're passionate about because you're passionate about it for a reason because you love it and so doing things you love or like do a self care night. I did that last night and I was literally laughing and having so much fun all by myself. Holy heck, my bun is gigantinamorous. <laughs> Hello, I'm here to help you today. I heard you had some questions. Sorry. <laughs> okay, next question. 
next question. Are you excited for college? I am very excited for college. I will actually film an update video on where I'm applying to. I'll do an update on that because it seems like you might want some. Next question. Oh, do you still ask Quilea or your mom for advice or do you deal with it all on your own? So this one depends. I will, so I'll try to figure it out on my own. And if that doesn't work, then I will go to my mom or Clay. I do still message Clay on her P days asking about like certain things or like what's the best choice for this because they're older they have gone through some situations that i have not or i am and so i know that they'll be able to help sometimes figuring it out on your own doesn't always work out next question is how to cope with losing friends oh my so recently i just lost a friend for a while this person hasn't been a good influence on me and i've kind of been noticing but i wanted to keep my friend but then a few nights ago i kind of lost it because i was we were talking and we were talking about relationships and boys and i was like i don't know if like i'm ready to start liking a dude again or something like that and i was like you know and she's like no sorry i'm not a hoe like you and i was like Like, I can understand how that could be a joke, but the way she phrased it and just left it like that, it was not a joke. She was actually meaning it, so I was like, okay, I'm done in this one. So I stopped messaging. And so losing friends can be really difficult, especially when they mean a lot to you. When it comes to friends and family, choose family over friends. You're going to be with your family forever. Your friends, on the other hand, they're going to come and go. You move, you're gonna lose contact. Try not to get too attached. I'm failing at that, trust me. I'm, I'm taking my own advice, I will tell you that. What is your opinion on making the first move? Mm, okay. So, I, I say go for it. If you feel that they do like you back, like you're kind of getting that vibe, I would say go for it, but only if you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable, if you want it to happen but don't wanna rush it, Totally good. I mean, I'm all for it because I have definitely made the first move quite a couple times. I was about to get up and move, but I was like, actually, I like I like staying in the bathroom. I can see myself talking and see if I do anything embarrassing. I don't know. It's just a thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next one. How do you deal with insecurities? Oh, it depends on the insecurity. I have so many, but I'm working on them. Just find the little things that that contradict them practically, like. I look really good in some jeans because of my thighs, but I don't like how my thighs are so large in my opinion. It's hard. Some of them differ. Like I used to not like my arms because they were like really skinny, but because of working out, like I'm kind of gaining muscle and I absolutely love it. So just find the little things that you enjoy or you love like right in that moment. I know it might be really hard. If you look on the plus side of things about yourself instead of thinking about like, oh, how do other people see me? Think about how you see yourself. Build up some confidence. Think of the plus sides. Just have fun with it. Make it fun. Make it you. Uh, I think I'm only gonna do one more question because I actually really gotta go soon. <laughs> um, so while answering this, I'm actually gonna finish getting ready. So, last question. Oh, have you ever been let down? Oh my gosh. I absolutely have. Whenever you lose friends, you're kind of let down because you thought like, oh, I thought this was gonna be like a really good friendship and it was gonna last for a while. When all of a sudden it stops and you're just like, oh. Or, oh, I've had people make promises and not keep them and I kind of get let down with that because I'm like, but you promise. Promises are a big thing when it comes to me. Don't make promises unless you plan on keeping them. I have been let down a lot, but I've learned to look at the plus side. Like, because this didn't happen, what else happened? What other, what other opportunity or what else could happen because this happened? So like, me and this person were gonna go and have a fun date and all this, but because it didn't happen, I had one of the best nights with my family ever. We were literally crying, laughing on the floor by the end of the night. It was amazing. So just look at the little things. Learn to look at the good parts of life. And if you look at just the downsides, it's not gonna be good for your health, your mental health at all. And it might ruin some upcoming opportunities that you don't know are even gonna happen yet. So I really hope you enjoyed this girl talk. I am going to go eat dinner. Oh, I'll show you the fit also because I think I love it. Okay. <laughs> See the socks? 
definitely do not match the shoe or the shirt, but I absolutely love how funny it is. And I mean, hey, if it's funny, you'll get conversation starters. So I really hope you enjoyed this. If you do have any more questions, I'll pin a comment down below and you can add them. And if you have any more advice for any of these questions for others too, put them down below. Have an amazing day. Bye.